In this video, I'm going to be making a very unique natural green earth pigment from Germany, available from Kramer Pig. The paint made with this pigment is a grayish green natural transparent color, and it's perfect for glazing or using it in mixtures to create subtle flesh tones and for painting distant elements in landscapes. So to make the paint, I'm going to be using a palette knife, the pigment powder, a molar, and some oil. So I begin by taking some powder pigment out of the glass jar with my palette knife and make a pile of pigment on my glass grinding plate. This earth green powder pigment has a light pale green earthy color and according to Kremer Pigment, it is absolutely non-toxic and has excellent light fastness. The chemical structure of the pigment is a mixture of natural ground slate containing silicate and earth containing iron oxide. My next step is to create a small crater in the center of the pile. This is where I'll start to pour a little oil to begin mixing the paint. The oil I'm going to be using to make this paint is walnut oil, but you can also use linseed oil or any other drying oil of your choice. So I begin by filling in the crater I made with oil. Each pigment has its own unique absorption rate, that is the amount of oil by weight needed to form a stiff but spreadable paste. So I start adding a little bit of oil at a time until I get the desired result. And I'll add a little bit more oil to get the perfect consistency. And now the paste is both stiff and spreadable, which is perfect. My next step is to begin milling the pigment, and this process will begin to disperse the pigment into the oil binder. I use a swirling motion to disperse the paint into the oil. And I use my palette knife to scrape the molar periodically. Scrape the paint into the middle of the glass plate and continue the process. So about 20 minutes milling the pigment, this paint is ready. The pigment and oil is now fully dispersed and the paint has a soft and unique viscosity. I'll use a piece of vegetable paper to help me put the paint into the tube. I first put the paint near the edge of the side of the paper. I then fold the paper into a cylinder so that it will fit inside the tube. And then finally, I use a squeeze to put the paint inside the tube. Then I tap the tube a few times to make the paint go down. Then I squeeze the end of the tube shut. After I squeeze the end of the tube, I use my palette knife to help me fold the end of the tube. I do this several times and then the tube is complete. Then my last step is to mark the tube. For this I'll be using a small label and place it on the tube. And then lastly, I'll mark the name of the paint.
Because of its large particle size, German Green Earth has an unusual behavior. It kind of has a sandy texture, but it flows well on the canvas. The color strength is very low, and the paint is very transparent, which is perfect for glazing or creating subtle tonal flesh tones. It mixes well with all other colors and adds transparency when mixed with opaque pigments, such as white. Its low tinting strength is useful for creating subtle tones and distance in the landscapes. Even when applied thickly, it maintains transparent and luminous. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, you can subscribe to my channel as I will upload more videos soon. Thank you for watching.